You have been out. You have seen our rivers running high and dangerously fast. Emergency crews, they're afraid of another tragedy. They're preparing now with swift water rescue training. And 7 News reporter Russell Hayfield is live in Golden, where crews just wrapped up life-saving exercises tonight. Russell? Yeah, and they train in the evenings here in Golden because the Golden Fire Department is an all-volunteer fire department. So these guys come from their day jobs to participate in exercises on the creek. The combination here of heavy rains along with rising temperatures and increasing snow melt have created a dangerous situation here. Clear Creek through Golden is moving. I need you to stretch a line. Copy A5. Golden Fire's Swiftwater Rescue Team is gearing up. We cover everywhere from up Clear Creek Canyon down through the city to the backside of Coors. Training for situations they hope never happen. Three swimmers in the water. This spring, this creek has changed. Last year, the floods did a lot of damage to the river, changed a lot of the topography. The floods also produced a lot of debris that's on the banks right now. And now that the water is rising, it's starting to bring that back into the current. And although kayaking and other recreation is still allowed. The public starts to want to play in the creeks as the weather gets warmer. It can be a very dangerous situation. This year is especially critical for training. Be really, really careful with your children. And they haven't even experienced peak levels yet. That typically happens sometime in early to mid-June. So they're watching the water levels carefully here. They say they are expecting to break some records this year. Live in Golden, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.